My name is Rob Nelson. I'm the head of the history department here at the University of Windsor. I teach history and I'm a specialist in German and European modern history. I had almost been an actor. I'd wanted to pursue drama and right around grade 10 I was getting pretty seriously into it and heard a story by Michael J. Fox of all people who, um, who talked about how hard it was to become uh, an actor, how he'd sold off every piece of furniture at his little apartment in Hollywood and only just made it. I heard that story and thought, this seems way too hard, so I'm gonna go more down the academic route. I didn't know the job existed when I started university. I just went to university because I loved history. Didn't even declare my major till about third year and slowly but surely learned that this was something you could do, but it would take a long time to do. The first year of teaching was nerve-wracking, that's for sure. You're always thinking the students know that you don't know as much as you're pretending to know that you're going to be an imposter. And uh, it took a while to figure out that, no, no, I know a lot more than they do. Don't worry about them catching me out. In that very first lecture I had, it was a huge first-year class with 200 students, and there I was on stage in front of 200 people and realized I get to do drama again. I get to perform. While it was totally nerve-wracking to be lecturing to that many people, I really enjoyed this idea of being on stage and performing and trying to entertain the students. And then beyond that, the ways in which students will put ideas together and ask a question that means they're really getting what I'm talking about and are thinking at a very high level and kind of putting ideas together that, that I haven't even considered. That's a really magical moment.